Hello <laughs> and welcome into the Hourglass. It's so great to be here with each and every one of you. I hope you guys are in high spirits. And if you're not, you need to get up there. Tarot lovers, tarot babes, welcome to tarot if you are new. Wow. All right, so let's begin. I wanted to see what obstacles at this time is being removed out of your life. Take it as it resonates, leave what doesn't. We have healing. All right, so some of you could be on a healing journey at this time. We have Sir Sci-Fi. <laughs> you can't see him today, but he's at the edge of the tank. So he sends his warm hellos. We have truth. All right. So some of you may be healing from the truth at this time. Now, um, I do feel like this last super full moon, this strawberry moon has brought in a lot of realizations. And because of these like sudden realizations, it kind of hit hard. And I feel like as a collective, we're slowing down and we're doing a lot of this healing work that we needed to do. Some of us has been putting it off actually, right? So with this healing, energy I feel like it could be mentally emotionally physically but is to help uh, bring a healthier consciousness it's finding cures as well some of you may be in the medical industry nurses I'm also hearing some of you may be very powerful fierce healers or you have that in your lineage some of you are coming to this physical truth that you know it's a time for a healthy I'm hearing a lot of healthy, healthy this, healthy that. So it's a lot of healthy transformations. Some of you may be working on healthier or healing communications, whatever that may look like. So um, very vital. This, this healthy healing is very vital to a lot of you. Some of you are still cl uh, cl clutch, clutching. You're still holding on or you have like this tight grip on the truth here. <clears throat> but someone wishes good health. I'm hearing somebody's wishing someone else the best and moving on because there was some sort of truth that came to light. Wow. So we have numbers 32, 37. This may be an age bracket head. Doesn't have to be. I'm getting six and nine. So some of you may be humanitarians, uh, but it's all about human life you know, and health and cure as well. This is very powerful. All right. So let's, let's break it down. This is the throat chakra. And we also have truth that has a lot to do with this, this color, um, wheel for the chakras is very different, but it's a third eye chakra here. So the pina gland, uh, some of you could be coming hmm, very deep, some deep truth or the whole truth. Okay, so there's the whole truth that brought on this healthy healing, whether it feels uncomfortable or not, but there is some sort of tension running through the nervous system. I'm seeing a picture of uh, the kidneys and the liver here. This is uh, my personal decks that I'm kind of sharing with the channel. Kind of like how that whistle came through my teeth when I said sharing, right? <laughs> So something about kidney and liver cures, or there's some sort of alternate, alternative cure. Oh, wow. Alternatives. Point, got your point across. So somebody may have gotten your point. There was a truth about self-deception here as well. Mm, okay, so... I do have some channel messages that I'm going to be kind of like looking out for card combinations. So where does this come from? Oh, I forgot a post-it note. Okay, so let's jump into the crappy cards and see what is this connecting to. Crappy cards. What is the connecting card here between truth and healing? Some of you may have gotten the whole truth about a situation. For some of you, I feel like you gave yourself closure. So some of you have been um, going back to a memory or someone that you're dealing with. So this could be your energy. This could be the person that you're connected to or concerned about. So take it as it resonates. All right. I don't want to keep repeating that throughout the reading. So keep that in mind. We have memories. So some of you may have had this repetitive memory. This memory comes in and out often and it holds the truth. Somebody is remembering you. 
from a past life or when they're going through this healing path or cycle right now, they're remembering you. There's a lot of truth in somebody's memories. We have new lifestyle, who this? So as we change our perspectives, some of us are in this Gemini energy. I feel like this is Gemini energy where as we learn new truth, we kind of change our mind or we change the ideas or we change our belief system that we're working with or operating from. So some of you going through this very healthy, deep transformation, you're kind of like building a new life for yourself. Wow. Very powerful. Uh, I'm hearing movers and shakers. Some of you may be soul shakers with this very powerful, fast healing or healer's energy. You're the truth. Ouch. So let's keep going. We have a soulmate connection. So some of you may be, or you're going to learn the truth and it's going to create healing or you're going to have to seek healing in this soulmate connection. Please keep in mind, we have several levels of soulmate connections. All right. So, oh, we have social media connections. So you may have met this person online on a dating app, social media, Facebook, high five, whatever, right? <laughs> My space. Anyway, I do feel like you have been connecting with your soul family on social media for some of you and you guys are sharing the truth and it's helping you to heal. That may be a suggestion as well. It's not over yet. So the truth of this soulmate connection is it's not over yet. Your person may be wanting you to know that or your higher self is like, this is just a healing, a deep transformation. This is very healthy for both parties in this dynamic as well. So the truth is going to come. We're going to see what the truth may be. Let's see how uh, you or this person may be feeling about healing. Oh, exhausted. Yeah, you know what? moving around energy, purging, it's, it could get exhausted. So if you feel the need to rest, don't try to fake it. Don't try to go against it. If your body, and I'm hearing that your body is wiser than your, um, your logic at this time. So pay attention to your body. There's a lot of, uh, root base chakra energy, AKA, AKA the ancestral seat. So there's a lot of awareness, truth, discovering what you need to know. Wow. So if you're uh, feeling fatigued or really stressed out, feel free to rest. Listen to your body. This person may be very exhausted going through this healing transformation. I'm hearing I'm back and I'm better. When this person returns, they're going to be a little bit different. All right. Don't kick a man when he's trying to don't I'm hearing don't bring up old memories of someone that's trying to change. Don't kick that man down. Don't kick that man down. He's already down. Right. Or woman. Take it how it resonates. So this person is very exhausted. And if this is you, I'm hearing also it's not over yet. So the healing is not yet done. So we want to complete phases so we don't have to keep going through it. All right. Stop dancing around the completion of something I'm hearing because we are at a nine. Some of you are at a six level of healing. We have loving. So, oh my gosh, somebody's remembering you. You're always on this person's mind as they go through this healing cycle. I'm hearing no matter the struggles or the hard time, my mind always searches for you. You guys uh, love it. Oh my God. This person feels very romantic or you're feeling a new level of romance and passion for life. You're seeing the truth about nature or about the phenomenal nature. It's something about miracles, sunsets, sunrises. I'm, I'm telling you with those reds and oranges, that's that root and sacral chakra. So some of you could be purging your sacral chakra at this time. And it's very, very exhausting. It's a soul level cleansing going on between you and this person. I'm looking at my notes, but it's like so crowded. Some of you may be attracted to jasper or orange stones, crystals, citrine, fire agate. I'm hearing fresh yellow diamonds. Ew. I'm hearing amber. So if you're buzzing in your uh, sacral chakra, this may have a lot to do with intimacy, sexuality, creativity, passion, joy. So if it's feeling imbalanced or you feel imbalanced, find ways to clear that you may be very addictive or compulsive behaviors showing its 
ugly face, some sexual dysfunction that may be clearing as well for some of you that has a lot, you know, and the sacral chakra has a lot to do with the kidneys as well or the reproductive uh, organs. So pay attention to what's tingling, what's pulsating, wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> recognize the triggers and create healthy boundaries spaces to heal oh i have jasper citrine some of you may need to eat uh fruits or vegetables that represent the chakra wheel you're cleansing oh i'm hearing alternative cures holistic remedies medicine women and men wow so somebody may be into the holistic life Oh, somebody feels really passionate. They feel it. They feel you in the middle of their tummy. Wow. All right. So let's see if this is according to you. What emotions or core emotions do you have to be aware of? There's her sci-fi. That's my baby. All right. So we have shame and we have bored. All right. So some of you may be coming into a peaceful area in your life. Notice the color schemes is very similar. So it may have like this gray area. You're going through a gray area where you're going to face a lot of humiliating memories. It's like, oh, did I fucking do that? Oh, did I sleep with that person? <laughs> So there's a lot of feelings of disgrace and humiliation with these memories, or this could be someone that's going through this healing process and thinking about a lot of truth between you and this person. And it feels really crushing to the heart. I'm feeling like my heart is in my ass right now. So, you know, this moments of peace may be feeling very bored or idle for someone here as well use your time wisely for some of you this person wakes up and they stare at the walls or they stare at this the ceilings wondering how many how much time do i have left without you <laughs> oh my gosh they're remembering the time by mj remember that time wink wink i want to do that right so the walls may be caving in for someone. Listen, mind over matter. Think outside the box right now. Or this is someone going to be coming out of their box soon. Somebody's kind of like confused between boredom and peaceful moments. You better get it together. We have bored again, so we're going to leave that out there. And we have exhausted. So this energy is repeating. So it's very strong. This exhausted, bored idle feeling jaded you know so somebody could be very bored without you in their life and they could be stalking you on social media or google they're trying to research you they're trying to find a link back to you they're very curious to know what you're up to so they could be like this private investigator they're investigating you holler some of you could be dealing with somebody that's really researching soulmate connections they're seeing a lot of um links or signs synchronicities poses about soulmate energy or connections or what it feels like this familiarity and this person may be feeling like they're getting closer to you somehow you know when you met you uh, misplace something like your keys or something that's very important you misplace it but then you energetically feel like you're getting closer and warmer you're getting warmer and warmer to where you laugh le you last left this misplaced item so i feel like this person is getting warmer and warmer toward you as they heal so ooh. So let's bust down a tarot deck and see what is this um, truth? What is, what is this truth about? <laughs> I was not organized uh, this, this session, you guys. Sorry. All right. So let's see what's going on. We have the third eye and we have the throat chakra. We have the two of swords. So we have some indecision or procrastination that's happening here. I feel like somebody wants you to rescue them or the truth about the situation, how they feel, what's going on is causing procrastination in someone here. Mm. They could feel very much in denial or they're trying to deny the truth. Ooh, that's, <laughs> that's a waste of time. But anyway, this two of swords and I'm looking at the moon phase in the back and that could speak on healing again. So we have two uh, confirmations 
uh, about healing, about surrendering. Somebody's procrastinating of healing because it feels bored or it's getting really weary. They're getting really weary here. So they're ignoring this healing or ignoring the completion of this healing being that we have nines, but they're very much in solitude or they have isolated themselves from this soulmate energy or connection. Mm, this person is very sensitive at this time, I believe, uh, with this procrastination. So they're putting off a potential uh, negative. So they feel uh, with this exhausted energy, they feel like there is a negative outcome and they may be avoiding or distracting themselves from these emotions. I feel like it's just uh, they letting their emotions or their sensitivity really take them over instead of trying to like see the deeper meaning behind of it. So this third eye energy may be blocked, not able to see deeper beyond the emotions that they may be feeling. And they're just dealing with it by distracting themselves. Hmm. Whatever these beliefs or whatever they think, it's influencing their confidence and they don't feel confident to complete something or to face something right now. Very much in their mind, procrastination. Oh, this person wishes that you would walk in or call already or you're wanting this from this person. They may feel like you're uninterested and you're ignoring them, distracting yourself from them. Oh, wow. What is the truth? Hey, somebody's ignoring or the both of you are ignoring each other in the soulmate energy. And therefore, you can't heal. You can't close the contract or the cycle. Hey, it's like incomplete with that big hole. All right. Let's bust down the tower and see what is going on. I do hope you guys are enjoying or resonating with this message thus far. We have the five of cups, man. Oh, man. So somebody's like... You know, they say healing never ends. You just get better of um, flowing through the triggers as you heal. So I feel like somebody may have relapsed into some really low emotions because they're feeling very remorseful. And I feel like by living in this energy is exhausting them because they're constantly stuck in the past with these memories. So your person may be uh, denying the truth by not speaking on it or taking accountability, but man, they're feeling really guilty and a lot of pity here. It's such a pity. I'm hearing that song by Tanya Stevens, big up to my reggae lovers. It's a pity you already have a wife. <laughs> and me done have a man in my life. So, you know, some of you may be kind of like pulled away from your soulmate or potential soulmate because both of you may be in very emotional situations. It doesn't have to mean third party. It could mean that you may have family or you have a career that you're really emotionally attached to. It's, it's an old way of living and you're really attached to it, but it's separate. And this person may not even... Uh, because of their procrastination to face the truth, they're not seeing a healthier alternative to get to you or to bridge the gap here. So they're sticking on social media, just stalking, trying to find you. Or if they do follow you incar incognito or visibly, I feel like this person is like really regretful or sorry that things couldn't play out with you. They're just constantly thinking about how things got messed up. They may have even messed it up and not willing to like take accountability. They're not willing to face that part of themselves because of confidence. So we have the three, we have threes, we have three, 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 or we have three, two, three, and we have three, three, seven, or seven, three, three. That may be angel confirmations for some of you out here. Doesn't have to resonate, all right? So we have the Empress energy. Some of you may be working with Ascended Masters, but there's a rich new beginning if this healing would uh, complete. If we have the confidence to kind of close out this healing cycle, there's a rich, abundant beginning here. Somebody needs to be more open to abundance. Again, pay attention to your body. Body. The divine feminine or the empress energy talks about the body, the flesh vehicle, like really nurture, nurturing it, use your oils, moisturize, drink plenty of water because there's, there's abundance flowing to someone that completes their healing. But somebody may be clinging too much on the past 
somebody really misses how clingy you were with them so we have the hierophant i do have the hierophant in the background here as a personal card so with the hierophant energy there's a lot of beliefs with the two of swords that's um, having a negative impact on somebody's confidence so somebody may be a commitment phobe or somebody's really married because it's a pity that you're already married and I already have somebody in my life type of vibe that's not going to be for everyone so chill out if it's not for you I don't want to trigger anybody's doubts here right so we have the Hierophant and the Hierophant feels very ignorant today. It could feel like I'm really sticking to my core value or the codes. So I'm being very ignorant to my healing. So it's kind of like I'm choosing uh, conformities over my own soul deep level it's like a deep level cleansing or healing. So I'm going to choose what was taught to me over healing myself because this healing stuff is like really draining me and I'm getting bored with having to deal with the same triggers over and over. So I'm just going to confirm or, uh, you know, stick to what I was taught either from family or culture. It feels more cultural energy. They're thinking about you. You're like the main focus in this person's life. It's like, I couldn't give you a commitment or I was very arrogant to commit into something here so we could heal together. What is the truth here? Somebody may be finding out a very earth shattering truth. But it's like, could you forgive me with the Hierophant or there's suffering going on here, some deep soul suffering three of pentacles somebody may be trying to revamp through their thoughts it's like they know the truth but they're ignoring it all right and people could be recognizing this person's silence all right some people are noticing that you're silent or some people are noticing that you're glowing up with the empress energy some of you may be badass warrior type energy with the empress i mean she looks very like simple and delicate but some of you have like this really fierce uh healer's energy life-giving energy with the empress energy and it's like somebody may be using their strong spiritual or religious beliefs to kind of like promote growth or abundance hey and this person may be feeling like I'm hearing if only I could have committed or this you may be saying this about this person and if only you could have commit we could have been working together or this person is like still stuck on memories in the past of how you guys used to work together it was like you were this person's um, guide or you had a way of influencing them to do things differently I feel like something was very repetitious, hey, like over and over and over again until it, it kind of like hit hard. And remember I was saying some kind of truth would hit hard and I'm seeing homeboy here kind of like pung in the hammer and you know, you have to have like some strong force or strength to hit that nail into position. So something is gonna hit hard. Somebody's recognizing the truth about why things didn't work out. Somebody could be kind of like going through this, um, I feel like self-pity, but it feels like self-inflicted punishment or this person could be feeling like you're punishing them for not giving you the, the commitment or the solid routine or some sort of solidness. I'm hearing, you know, you may be a solid person, but this is not a solid uh, situation for us, for me. Even though somebody's like really sad here, I feel like they're still working on themselves with the three of pentacles, like really working on a skill or they're going back to some sort of drawing board here or they keep going back to this memory over and over and over again and they can't seem to come out of this sadness. All right, looking for a solution or looking for a way to give you some sort of commitment as best as they could. This could be some long distance or you guys are emotionally distant in the soulmate connection. King of Swords. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pain here and a lot of suffering, but somebody's keeping a cool head. 
all right there's some clarity on the truth this person always knew who you were or the the truth about how they felt about you they possibly couldn't find the words or it's almost like they couldn't find reason or logic to put it in words i feel like you're dealing with someone or you this may be your energy that have went through a lot of different battles but the healing is incomplete so there's a lot of battle wounds or scars but there's no real complete healing so even though somebody may have felt like they detach from a situation the pain is there or the hurt and this is very exhausting you could be dealing with somebody that was always on guard or alert and this has took a toll on them this could be somebody that's very, very unconventional or this connection between the both of you is very, very unconventional. It's, it stays fresh or refreshed. This person has a clear, they have clarity or truth about you and it's, it's hurting them, it's killing them. But with the three of pentacles, it's like through this fatigue, this person is constantly working towards something. So this could be work or their own potential. It could also feel like with the three of pentacles, like even though they're tired, they're bored. Some of them could be bored with a job, a duty in their life. And they're like very uninterested in it but they're still holding on to it be because of conformities or this was passed down to them in some way hey they feel like they're in total authority hey or they're keeping a lot of their thoughts to themselves and they're just like watching observing with the king of swords now it's like steady progress here with someone even though they're exhausted, there's a slow, steady uh, progress here with the Three of Pentacles because we only have three coins or pence, right? So it's like, it's slow, it's steady, but it's some sort of progress here with this person healing or seeing the truth. So every day they're feeling or, sen or sensing the truth through the third eye chakra, but they're still denying it because maybe there's a lack of support or motivation behind this truth. And then it's clashing with some sort of belief with the Hierophant. So it feels like agony. It's like, I know what I know, but my heart knows something else. Or it's crazy or it's nerve wracking when you know the truth. When you know the truth, but it's nothing you feel like you could do. Or it's just... The head have, it's like this person is so accustomed to making head over heart decisions that now they have to kind of like look at alternative ways of doing things. I feel like this person thinks about commitments with you or they think about opportunities, times, hey, sir, sci-fi, <laughs> that they miss giving you a uh, commitment. Some of you, they don't even see how they could, they're like, racking their brain and how they could give you commitment in this situation but they feel like or they're ignoring the truth about the about what they could give they don't see a way how they could even if they wanted to hi sir sci-fi <laughs> let's see what is this uh harifant energy seven of swords yeah okay so this is gonna get a little touchy we have uh the hermit energy so this person is thinking a lot, even in isolation or even if they fell back away from you. For some of you, they kind of sneaked off or you sneaked away. Um, I feel like this belief system or whatever this commitment is that this person is strongly holding on to, it's kind of like one-sided or it's, it's stealing this person's opportunity to think for themselves for some of you you were uh pushed or you were pulled into a third party indirectly so this person did not give you the opportunity to choose to stay or leave the situation for some of you you may be married to a current artist or you were or this person was married or in a commitment a long-term commitment with someone that was very one-sided or this commitment or this solid uh, it feels steady and solid or it feels like predictable. Somebody's running away from healing because they're ignoring the truth about their behavior. That's that's just what I'm getting here with the two of swords uh, and the seven of swords. It's like somebody's stealing somebody's peace and faith here. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. So there may be a disrespect to somebody's values of commitment here with the seven of swords under the Hierophant. Your personal or core values was disrespected. For some of you, uh, this person does not see a solution or resolution to the issues between the both of you. And they're very exhausted trying to rock their brain. Somebody already made a head over heart decision. And I'm feeling like because of this, accountability or responsibility has no place in this situation at the moment. Somebody's still reflecting here about the truth, about their deceptive actions here. I'm also getting this phrase. I'm going to read what I channeled uh, this morning because I did channel the two of swords with the seven of swords. And I got uh, this. Uh, a confused man or woman will steal seven of swords, your peace, and waste your time. So even though it feels like a very intense soulmate connection, this person, like they have to get their act together, but it's very slow and steady. And this person tends to make head over heart decisions, even though they feel like you're the complete package. Some of you, they see you as the mother or father of their children. They do feel like they could commit to you. You are commitment worthy, but this person is hella confused and procrastinating with the two of swords. They avoid, they distract, they may be deflecting as well. And they're feeling drained, too tired to do something, hey, because of some other healing. We do have it's not over yet, so this is why I mentioned momentarily. We do have Sir Sci-Fi kind of like popping in and out in the left screen. <laughs> we did some activities today where I kind of showed him his reflection and, you know, Beta's flare. So he's kind of patrolling his water box right now, looking for the culprit, which is actually a reflection of him. So for some of you, this person could be going through that, ignoring that they are actually um, the one that's the one that's creating this suffering because it feels like a hell of a lot of suffering with the Hierophant staring at me. So this confusion, it's, it's kind of like causing a lot of emotional agony with your person, whether they show that or not, the lack of confidence, the lack of energy to do something, you know, they're constantly in their thoughts about you. They may feel like your heart is so precious. You're such the, the full package and they may feel like you're growing beyond this pattern of them theirs as well you're growing beyond them not speaking their truth with this tight lip for some of you this person has like this dark or kind of like um shadowy eye area so they may have like hooded eyes or their their like fo their forehead skin is like causing a shadow hair i feel like this person experienced a lot of battle uh wars or battles and this could be private wars within their mind within their um, third eye chakra as, as well, being too rational to see beyond, you know, to see the deeper truth of who you are or what they could do Hey, So your person may be very wary of commitments and this is why they have the seven of swords energy where they feel like they're disrespectful or they feel like there's no genuine uh, reciprocation here. So healthy may not exist for this person because of their commitments in life or because of what they're a part of. So this could be politics. This could be social media norms or social norms. This person may be socially intelligent. Uh, but again, they have like this way. They're very strategic and smart when it comes to social interactions. Some of you may be dealing with somebody that's very, very avoidant. They don't like to talk uh, or talk on what they are thinking about or what they know. So they may know more than you think they know. They know the truth about the situation, but to get to you, this person may not be seeing a very safe way. And it just feels like this person may be kind of like hitting a boundary or barrier head with you. And again, it could be these core values. So they may feel like you're commitment worthy, but to actually give it to you may be a very slow uh, steady growth or expansion to do that with the three of pentacles. I do feel like something is developing for this person, 
with the king of swords energy oh man they feel you they feel like they feel like you're some sort of loss or they feel lost without this soulmate energy between the both of you. Mm. I feel like this person may be very selfish at this time or they may be viewing you as very selfish. They have like a very blind loyalty or a negative outlook to commitments or they feel like this is very untraditional situation so um for some of you this person may have beliefs that's against celebrating feminine energy so they may be suppressing their feminine energy due to their core beliefs or conventional beliefs they okay so they have gender roles somebody believes in gender roles here and that could be from a religious background or they had a religious grandparent or parent that would share um, these religious views. So this person may be closed off to abundance hey, with the Empress card with you. Uh, the Empress to me is talking about creativity and personal development. But with the five, oh no, not the five, with the King of Swords, and the five of cups. Your person is just fixated on the facts, hey. You know, over their emotions. Or this person is very sacrificial leader. Or this is a sick, uh, spiritual lesson about sacrifice and leadership. Mm. This is... I feel like this person confusion is robbing this person's peace. You know, this person could be very indecisive, selfish, and egotistical with this king of swords. And they have this arrogance to them. So all of these low energies could be blocking this person's psychic development or personal development. Uh, hermit, still soul, re soul uh, reflecting here. They think a lot about the potential and they may feel like, you know, isolating themselves from you is very exhausting. Like keeping away from you is very exhausting and stressful. Conflicts and competition. Yeah, this person is, they are prone to like extreme competition and conflicts. So this is what they're drawn to. It's like, if it's not, if it doesn't have like war or competition, they're not interested. They don't have like this push and this could be cultural energy or cultural beliefs that was taught to this person so for some of you there may be a lot of conflicts on social media this person may have like a low profile because they have like <laughs> i don't know they're always they're always pushed into competition for some of you you were indirectly pushed into a competition with this person's spouse or somebody that they have a long-term commitment with that they may have kind of like uh, sneaked away from this person for a minute and they bumped into you time is money better to do things as quickly as possible so this person may have like this fast energy they're always like on time or they always um they have like a tight schedule practice till you and i get it right so this person, even though they avoid healing or avoid taking accountability and responsibility, this person is always going to return because it's like they may go through p periods where they're in denial about the mess that they cause and how could they heal it with you. It's like because they don't confess, they can't genuinely heal with you even though they know they are the person that could help heal you or heal the situation between the both of you. They're practicing something. They could even be practicing on how to deliver the truth to you to bring some sort of healing. But with this King of Swords energy, I don't know. They're so like cold and stiff. <laughs> Poker face kind of person. Pay attention. If the lesson keeps repeating, you're not listening and learning. So there's something very repetitive here. And this person is in denial that they're repeating a cycle here with you. They don't want to like admit that they're the cause of this uh, repeated 
uh, offense or disrespect, please don't give my loving away. Keep it sacred. So this person may feel like they're married to you or in some ways that you are there. It's like you belong to them and they're going through a lot of like mind battles or private wars to keep a clear or cool head. So they could be fighting themselves uh fighting themselves about you even though you guys may not be together or the problem is already gone or you know you may have dealt or you know give yourself a new beginning because this you didn't find a solution or a resolution with this person so some of you may have given yourself closure and they're still beating themselves up still tussling with themselves about coming forward to you so it's like for some of you you finally woke up and figure out that this you would never get like a resolution or solution with this person because they're very avoidant you know so you may have just decided to get into another commitment or be more committed to yourself to your own abundance and this person is still stuck with the memories <laughs> they're still stuck PTSD so your person may have suffered because we see that with the Hierophant suffered a lot of traumatic events in their life that they avoid telling you or they just keep it really hush hush you know so this person may be struggling with uh, difficulties focusing or concentrating I feel like at times this person loses their appetite so they may go down and up in weight uh, this person is prone to like emotional outbursts as well and I feel like it's a lot of forgiveness or they wish that they were forgiven for a lot of these mistakes that they made in the past something that you may not know about that they want your forgiveness so this person may suffer with flashbacks paired with the memories and they're all hush hush about it sexual attraction form a strong emotional connection so for some of you this may have been very very physical or this person thought it was very physical and now they're coming on to this truth that this is very very soul deep connection so the sex you know was a plus getting to know you you're like the full package but this person is running away from telling you that because then they may feel like you want a commitment or they need to follow through with a commitment oh man i'm worried that you're not worried yeah some of you may have just decided to give yourself closure and kind of give yourself a new beginning kind of like commit to your own abundance and this person is stuck in their mind because of the facts because of the truth and they're worried that you're not like clingy anymore you know not worried about this person because they're down and how could you make them happy or nurture the situation to make them feel comfortable or it feels like they were always in this gloomy energy and you had like this need to kind of nurture them or um bring growth to them you felt very responsible in this mother this holy mother or this mother great mother energy of the empress but it's like I don't know it felt like they were disrespecting your core values with the seven of swords or it felt very one-sided because they were very avoidant so both of you may be kind of like hermit energy some paranoia the karmic doesn't trigger me it's convenient for me I don't expect you to understand so this may be a harsh truth or a hard truth to kind of tell you whatever karmic this may be and again, this person is a very avoidant in healing where you're more prone to growth or you look forward to shifts and growth in your life. And this person may just like convenience. They don't have the energy. This person may be very older or they have been through so much that they're kind of like burnt out on both sides of the candle. All right. So they don't expect you to understand why they're so slow with the three of pentacles to recognize who you are to them or to give you commitment or even recognize that this is a soul matey energy it's nothing i could say to change things right now all talk no actions unanswered texts so this person feels like they don't have a safe way or uh, a way to get to you because you know they're not doing their healing so therefore they don't feel that confidence to do anything and that dot card is like speaking out to me where is did it go there you go this dot card smack that ass and tell you i'm glad that ass is mine you don't need love letters so this is what i'm saying they do feel a sense of you're theirs and they're they're yours because they can't 
run away from the thoughts and memories of you. They feel like they could commit to you or come home to you every night or wake up to you every morning. They feel like this is very sacramental or it feels like they want communion with you. They want this life that you may want, but they're very avoidant to heal certain things and to let go of certain G codes or codes values in their life. But they are reflecting on it. They are take they are considering the potential, hey, you know, and they're very, very bored. I feel like when you're not in their life or in their energy, they kind of disconnect and isolate from everybody. And people notice this person's very quiet these days all right people be seeing people be seeing but it's not over yet for this person me plus you <laughs> equals a match made in heaven everything makes sense with you yeah so it's like they will fight they will go out there and fight the world and put on this poker face they're very they have a lot of clarity or they have a very, they could be a visionary too as well, or they have some sort of psychic energy, but because of their lack of, of healing or avoiding their healing, it's not fully developed. So they're very rational and they could have been rationalizing this connection for a very long time. So if this person is coming to the conclusion that you are a match made in heaven and everything makes sense with you, this person is not going to waver on that clarity because they spend so much time trying to rationalize or debunk the connection that they feel with you. So I feel like this person is strategizing in the future. This could be going on right now. I always do present, uh, present moment or present energies. I don't go in the past and I don't go in the future. So I feel like right now, or, you know, when this person decides to kind of like accept the truth that you are their soulmate, that you are their person to commit to that, you know, they have what it takes to commit to you because this person, they could be a rebel as well in their way of thinking. You know, and they had to fight for their for their way of thinking, for their beliefs. And I feel like they feel like they have to get ready to commit to you. So they're planning, they're strategizing in their in their world. Some people around them could feel like they're betraying them or they're hiding things from them. So your person is really quiet about this plan or these strategies. They're really quiet with the hermit energy as well, but they're very, very active. All right. So this may be somebody that walks in the shadows or, you know, they could feel like they're in survival mode constantly. And this is very draining for your person. But you bring them a sense of abundance and peace or you bring them a lot of peace that keeps them very cool. And they could see themselves actually building a life with you. They would actually take commands or guidance from you because it's like you're their leader in some way. All right. So they feel very trusting of you, but to actually give you this commitment, they may feel like they're not a traditional person or this is not a traditional situation that could give you or offer you this commitment. Some of you are dealing with someone that's cheating on their spouse with you. And if you guys are not like you guys were just in the talking stages, they could def definitely carry through with that uh, infidelity. All right. Because you make them want to do things. You make them want to kind of like do things that's going to cause punishment. So it's like kind of taboo. Hey, as well, you give them a power where they feel or they have a lot of power in a situation where they feel they could get away with something. Hey, that's very, um, I'm hearing like treason. <laughs> we have zero, zero, zero. Have you have unlimited possibilities claim what belongs to you so your person has strategized or they're in this strategic three of pentacles three of swords not telling you anything as well and leaving you stuck and baffled and kind of like indecisive on your next move because they're not telling you what they're working on what they're planning here what unlimited possibilities that they are building on to get what belongs to them because they feel like you are theirs. You were made for them. They have rush. They have thought about this for a long time with the King of Swords energy. And they may be coming, coming with the truth because this is a sort of judgment about commitments or what they want to commit to. 
So again, um, they may want, they're planning here how to execute something here and get away with it. I'm either all in or I don't even care. You either feel all of me or it's like I'm not even there. So that is a trick question for you, viewer. How do you feel? Do you feel this person's presence even when they're not with you? Because they feel yours. You're running through them. You're flowing through their body here, your energy. So this is a trick question for you. Is this person's energy always with you or you feel like you're alone here or you feel like it's truly one-sided commitment that you would receive or in with this person? So that's a little bit of spirit work for you to do to kind of activate this healing or to bring a healthy transformation with this healing energy. That may be some sort of confirmation to your truth with this person as well. So take the rose has it uh, uh, how it resonates. I do feel like you guys are sharing this like sad energy between the both of you or this person could be struggling with deep depression because of traumatic events that they have experienced before you entered their life or with this soulmate connection and other social media connections. For some of you, you may have met this person on social media and this is the first time that both of you are actually taking a social media connection away from online into the physical it was very abundant some of you could have possibly spent a very beautiful moment with each other and this person felt like they could have committed to you right then and there but they did not tell you they avoided telling you that and they got away without telling you and now they're like in paranoia energy or you know they feel very isolated or foolish that they did that they almost feel like you you um, slipped away from them in some way. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this message. If you did, big up yourself in a comment box. If you could resonate, let me know. Give a little bit of the tea. You don't have to go all crazy with names and <laughs> addresses and all of that stuff. But let me know if it resonates, you know. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support, your blessings, your suggestions, your donations, your tips to the free readings here on the Hourglass. And I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.